You remember the white teenager who beat the black teenager, black girl. Um, it went viral. Everybody is now speaking out. The father is upset. The father of the white teen is not happy. All right. So let's put up uh, the picture at full mass here. And uh, this was one of those videos. Obviously, when you looked at it, you saw the racism, uh, you saw the anger. Uh, you saw the the heartlessness, and, and I remember saying to myself, uh, "This is a learned behavior. This kind of anger and racism being expressed from a child comes from a place of society. Society includes your home." All right. The father of that white Kansas City student who was captured on the video fighting a black female student at school has broken his silence by denouncing his son's behavior, but adding that it was not racially motivated. To recap, uh, the two sophomores had this uh, altercation on video, it was captured on video, after the male student rushed down the hall, calling the black student the N-word. Now, this is the irony. The N-word is clearly, clearly noted in the video coming from the white student. Now, the father is saying not racially motivated. He said the N-word multiple times before violently pushing the black child the fight ensued as she tried to defend herself. Nicholas Rosalie shared his feeling with KMBC days after his 15 year old son, Nick, was charged with aggravated battery for the incident at Shawnee Mission East High School. So the dad of the alleged racist teen told KMBC, quote, I'm upset. My son hit a girl. That's one, but two, I was mad that he opened his mouth or anything of that sort because he should just wait and get a teacher, end quote. The community believes racism was at the center of the incident, particularly when right before the fight, as the Kansas City Defender reported, a black female student, Brianna Brown, was condemning a white female student about the use of the word slaves, okay, when referring to black students, another racial component. The girls were parting ways with Bree telling the white female student, walk away. As, white, uh, as a white student walked off from the conversation but tried to say something else to Bree, who replied, quote, don't say nothing unless. You're going to come say it to my face. Nick, who seemed initially uninvolved, aggressively shouted at Bree to shut the up. And Bree responded by asking, What did he say? The male student then charged towards Bree while repeatedly hurling the N word. The fight broke out until an adult and other bystanders stepped in. So he attacked. The girl, she defended herself. Brown's parents said she suffered from injuries to the face, including a broken nose. Quote, it was heartbreaking. Brown's mother, Lanika, said, it made me upset and really mad. What mother wants to see her daughter get hit in the face by anyone, let alone a male? I was livid, end quote. We personally had to take her to the emergency room. That is never acceptable, her father, Sean Brown, a senior told KCTV. My daughter, with obvious injuries to her face, a broken nose, she had knots all on her forehead, the whole nine yards. I didn't understand how they could just sit there and not get her medical attention. End quote. You have another failure of system. Although Brown was briefly suspended, she's proud of how she handled the situation. Even if you get in trouble for sticking up for someone else or sticking up for yourself, still, you did the right thing and keep doing what you're doing. The child told KCTV, um, and I agree. The incident sparked demonstrations with students pressing the administration to hold the boy accountable and to acknowledge racism exists on campus. The father of the white male student said the N-word is ugly, hateful, mean, and disrespectful. All right, now he didn't say it's racist. He said it is ugly, hateful, mean, and disrespectful, right? And doesn't think his son fought Brown due to her race, even though he yelled the N word multiple times. 
but was trying to protect other students. Yes, this is how you do it, protect other students by running down the hallway, saying the N word and hitting a girl. His son, who was suspended, also got a wounded eye and concussion um, as a result of the altercation. Yeah, it's called self-defense, that's according to local news. Due to receiving threats online, his family is debating leaving the area. I feel like we're probably going to have to move. That's what the father told the news station. How is he going to go back to that school, according to the reports? Um, the father, uh, the son is now placed in protective custody at a juvenile detention center and has an upcoming court appearance. I'll just put a picture of the father back up again. Um, yes, sir, you are correct. You probably don't want to bring your child back to that school. But let's go to the cause, because we're right now dealing with effect. Effect is the fact that your child did what he did. Cause. Could it be that you are part of the cause, sir? If you're a decent human being, give me out. Your child said the N word multiple times. Your child hit a girl, yes. You acted as if you teach him to do contrary than that. Your child was defended by you on the news station. Was defended by you even though he used the N word, a viciously attacked another student, a female student at that, unprovoked physically. And you are defending that he's not racist. Sir, you're not defending that your son is not racist, you're defending that you're not racist. Where do you think he learned it from? Where do you think he gets the protection from when he engages in actions like that? You don't get more blatantly racist than yelling the N word and hitting a black child over and over again. Sir, if that's not racist, if you don't believe that's racist, there is nothing else that will convince you that you are starting to raise a young version of yourself. All right, sharing thoughts here. He is indeed raising his mini me and the father's real angst here is that his son took the image outside of the house. This is something that is free flowing inside the four walls. But now that it's become viral and Dr. Richie, you're talking about it on your hit show, it's a problem. I believe they should leave the area and perhaps relocate to Harrison, Arkansas, uh, known <laughs> most recently as the most racist city in America, because they'll be fine there, or at least have a better opportunity not to be triggered by black people breathing. Yeah, I mean, hell, he could become mayor. Could be. Uh, yeah. Promise All right. the future.